Hello everybody, welcome back to Making It Up. I'm Isa, and as you can tell, I'm back in my space. I am the happiest ever, back with my collection. I am, uh, truly, this is home. Home is where my makeup collection is, and to honor that today, I want to play with some makeup, obviously. Spring has finally sprung. It's sunny outside. The flowers are blooming, everything is okay in the world, and I'm super happy. So I want to create a very fresh spring look that just makes me look alive, but at the same time something that's natural and easy because that is truly my brand. I'm not entirely sure what look I'm gonna do. I am improvising and just making it up as I go, but that's the best part about makeup. So if you guys want to know the look I come up with, if you're in the mood for some spring makeup, then please keep on watching. I'm gonna start with my eyes first. I think I have an idea in mind. I wanna use white. I have this Suva Beauty liner, Hydra liner and Doodle. And it has like a black and a white. And I am living for the white. My dog is snoring a lot. So let me just go sort that out and then we can get started on the eyes. First things first, we're gonna prime the eyes. I'm using the KVD Beauty Shake Primer. I'm kind of new to this. I bought it a while ago, but um, I'm still kind of new to it. You're supposed to shake it and then push a little bit out. It's supposed to be good. I'm not sure, I haven't played with it enough, but let's try it out. I'm gonna just set that with a little bit of powder. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the Suva Beauty Hydro Liner and Doodle, and I'm gonna grab just the white side with a tiny, tiny brush like this. This is a MAC 210. You can use this with water and it works perfectly, but I wanna test a theory, and I'm gonna use Inglot Duraline because you activate these with like a liquid. So I'm gonna see if they activate with this because this makes things waterproof and budge proof. So I wanna see if it works. If it doesn't, we'll just go with water. Yeah, it's not doing anything. Water it is. I think I want to do something like slightly graphic, but not nothing crazy. I kind of want to do like a little line where my, you can see like my pupil. I don't want to take it all the way. Well, let me show you what I mean. So just going here. And doing something like that. Very easy, very simple, but I think it looks cool. Okay, one eye always looks better than the other one, so I'm not gonna fret about that. Now, I think I wanna do the same on the lower lash line. I'm not sure how this is gonna look, but I'm gonna try it out. Just the exact same placement and everything on the lower lash line. And uh, if I don't like it, I can just take it off, but we're gonna test it out. Okay, so this is like the idea. I love it. It looks a little weird without any mascara, so I'm just gonna be applying some mascara right now. I'm using the e.l.f. Big Mood Mascara. This is in pitch black, and this is just, I feel like, gonna tie everything together. And you see the mascara kind of finishes the look because it doesn't look like a super stark contrast. It, the white's just kind of peeking out from behind, and I think it looks amazing. And then I'm gonna use like a tiny brush to do the lower lashes so that I don't get mascara everywhere. Once mascara is on, I'm just gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna remove the smudges. But I feel like something's missing and I wanna add a little bit of a shimmer to the inner corner. So I'm gonna grab this super old Kiko Milano um, Cream Crush Lasting Color Eyeshadow. This is like just straight up glitter. It's like gold and silver glitter mixed. And I'm gonna add the tiniest bit of this, like just like a sprinkle of glitter. I don't want it to be super intense. I just wanted to add a little bit. It just adds a bit of brightness, but it isn't super intense. Okay, and once that's done, the eyes are complete. I'm gonna go remove some mascara smudges and I will be right back. Okay, now we're moving on to the face. As always, I want it to be super natural. But we're gonna go slightly dewier than usual because it's warm weather. Like, why wouldn't we? I'm gonna be using the Rare Beauty um, Pure Diffusing Primer though. I really like this one. The one thing I cannot stand about spring is seasonal allergies. I am dying. You guys, truly, constantly, you're probably gonna hear it. Pollen is ending me. Like, it's bad. For my overall base, I'm gonna be using my Fenty Beauty Ease Drops in number five. What a good product. I love this. I have missed this. I'm gonna be applying it with my fingers. It's probably gonna be a little bit too dark for me right now. But who cares? Oh, it's not that bad. 
for concealer, I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Classic Ivory. Ah, I love this concealer so much. I'm just gonna apply this with a beauty sponge. Okay, so now I'm just gonna set everything with the uh, Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. I love this. I don't know if they're like discontinuing it or where you can get it, but it's amazing. I hope they don't discontinue it. Beautiful. Now for the cheeks, what are we gonna do for the cheeks? I'm gonna go very bright cheeks. So I'm just gonna do a slight bit of bronzer just to add a little structure to the face, but we're really gonna focus on the blush. So for bronzer, I'm using the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer in what's the shade? Golden Days. And I'm just gonna apply this wherever the sun naturally hits. For blush, I'm gonna go in with the Tower 28 blush in Golden Hour. I love her so much. And I'm just gonna be applying it, not exactly to the apples, I'm gonna be applying it a little bit back so that my face is lifted. A little to the nose. Okay, once blush is on, you can't really see it on camera, but I do have a decent amount of blush on my cheeks and my nose. I'm gonna add just the tiniest bit of highlighter. I'm going in with the Master Secret Glow Highlighter in Expensive by Make It By Mario. And I'm just gonna apply the tiniest bit to the high points. Adding a little to the brow bone, why not? And then to add some finishing touches to the face before we move on, I'm using my Freck XL to add some freckles to my face because you guys know me, I'm a sucker for freckles. I love them. And uh, spring and summer are the perfect moment for freckles. So I'm just gonna highlight my own and maybe add some more. Okay, once freckles are done, we're gonna move on to the brows. We're gonna do a little brow moment. I'm using the Urban Decay Brow Blade to fill. Mine's in dark drapes, and I think I'm gonna use the pencil side. I'm just gonna do like an initial fill. Very, very little, because I want the brows to be super fluffy. To fluff the brows up, I'm using the ColourPop Clear Feathering Effect Styling Wax. And I'm just gonna go in with a wet spoolie and fluff the brows. The brows are fluffed. They look a little intense, but I know they're gonna deflate a little bit in a while, so that's good. For the lips, I don't know, I could literally go any way I wanted to because this is very, very neutral. I'm gonna line with my Make It Forever Endless Cacao, and then I'll decide. There are a lot of options of what I could do. I could go in with the Tower 28 uh, thing and just like have it be a monochrome moment. Or maybe I'll go in with this L'Oreal. I don't know the name of this. The name will be down below, but it's like the glossy lip stain in the shade Be Determined, I think. Maybe let's try this and then if not, I'll just add the other product on top. Mm, yeah, this feels a little light, especially with the lip liner, so I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of golden hour on top to add more vibrancy to the color. Okay, mm, yeah, I like this a lot better. I think everything just ties in together a lot better. And now all that's left to do is add a little bit of setting spray, Urban Decay All Nighter. Ow! I just hit myself in the face. And once that's done, the look is complete, my friends. Let me zoom you guys in, we'll see a close-up, and then we'll be done. Okay, so here we have a close-up of the look. These are the eyes. I think they look really cool, almost editorially. But um, it's very simple and easy, and I love them. And the rest of the skin and the lips just looks very natural and vibrant, which is exactly what I wanted. But yeah, this is the look. What do we think? Okay, you guys, and that is a wrap on today's video. Let me know what you guys think of the look. Do you love it, hate it? Would it be something you recreate? I think it's something I'm gonna be recreating a lot because it was truly very, very easy. And I think I could do it with colors as well, like different colored liners or even eyeshadow and a little bit of like Fix Plus or, you know, you can get creative with it and that's what I love about it. But I, I'm digging the white. I feel like the white is a vibe. I don't know. What do you guys think? 
As always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, then please make sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Lets me know that you guys are enjoying my content. And if you're into super easy and real makeup and beauty content, kind of like today's video, then please make sure to subscribe. The button's down below. I upload videos every single week and I would love to have you here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a great start to your spring season and I'll be seeing you right here next week. Bye everybody. Mwah.